Welcome back to my channel. So today we have a comparison video. We have Eagle One Wheel and Tire Cleaner versus Black Magic Intense Wheel Cleaner. So on this driver wheel, we'll use the Black Magic Intense Wheel Cleaner. I'm going to spray it on, and I'm going to use my power washer, and I'm going to power wash it off. So we'll see how that works. See how much dirt you can get off with just that. that. And then we'll dig into my wheel brushes and use the uh, Chemical Guys Wheel Face Brush, and then we'll use a Speedmaster. Um, bigger wheel brush to get inside the barrels. See how that works. And then we'll do the same thing on the passenger rear wheel back there. So let's get started. Alright, so now we're going to spray it on. The Black Magic, it's purple. It smells pretty good. I'm going to spray it on liberally so that way we can see how it works. And about one to two minutes of time to dwell on it just to break in the wheel brake dust. I'm not going to spray this one on the wheel tire as much because I think it's a waste of product. You can use a degreaser, all purpose cleaner for that. So, just like that, we're going to let it sit, let it work in, and power wash it off. So, this is a Black Magic wheel, so now we're going to power wash it off. It's been about two minutes. So if we look real closely, um, I actually had wiped this earlier with like my finger. Uh, not ideal, like you don't really want to do that because it will scratch the wheel a little bit, or mar it at least. But the Black Magic did a pretty good job at breaking up the brake dust at the beginning. Um, obviously, that's why we're going to brush it with a wheel brush in a second. You never get the best job with uh, just doing that. But at this show, I mean, these wheels had about 5,000 miles worth of brake dust on them. So in fairness, that did a pretty good job. So now, we're going to go do the other side. Alright, so now we're going to put the product on here again, put a little bit on the wheel, get the face cleaned, and then move on to the other side. So far, it's doing a really good job. Very easy, breaking up the brake dust. It's coming off really easy, so I'm happy. So. Cause that's the thing with the wheel cleaner, you do want it to be aggressive, but not, I feel like you also want to be safe. Like, I love acid-based wheel cleaners, but the problem is, those, they dry on your wheel, they can cause a lot of issues, especially on darker wheels, cause you can see the stains a lot easier. I guess we'll see what it does on the tire too, but just wanted to get in there and scrub that real quick. And also the advantage of these silver wheels is they hide a lot of um, imperfections, so. You don't have to worry about being too careful. Alright, so I'm going to clean off the wheel. I did a pretty good job. There's still a couple marks in there. I'll have to clean up later when I'm drying it. But overall, it did a really good job. And for a quick clean, it's working. So now let's go see how the Eagle One does. All right, so actually I changed it up. We're gonna use the driver front wheel so it's a better comparison. And now we're gonna spray it on the Eagle One wheel and tire cleaner. This one, I will spray on the, wheel, uh, the tire a little bit just to show you how it works on the tire. They're both um, non-acid based wheel cleaners, so they're both pH balanced, which if you're looking for a safe wheel cleaner, it's good. The only difference is it's not going to be as good on chrome, like a Meguiar's Wheel Bright will be better on chrome wheels, because the acid can really eat off the brake dust that builds on this. But again, it's not as safe, so stuff's not that bad. And they're both Price wise, just about the same. Seven to eight dollars for each one, depending on. I think Black Magic was eight and this was seven. So, 
They were at the same price. So on this side, on the driver's side, is the Eagle One intense wheel cleaner, wheel and tire cleaner. So this one we're going to power wash off. It's been about two minutes also. Well, off the bat, I mean, that took off the brake dust a lot easier. Well, surprisingly, actually, they did a pretty good job. I'm a little shocked. That came off a lot easier than uh, the Magic did, so I'm surprised. So, again, we're going to spray these down, and we're going to clean inside the barrels with the brush, because this obviously isn't acceptable. So, that's what we're going to do. And I'm going to see if there's any difference with that Black Magic versus this one when you're using a brush and see if it's easier. But if I had to take my guess, I think this one's going to do better with the brush. So let's get started. Yeah. Alright, so now we're going to do the same thing with the driver's side. We're going to clean the barrels first, and then uh, see how it does in comparison. It's always easier to start from the top, that way you're not working backwards. And again, I really think this is... This, wow, this stuff's doing a very good job. It's This is definitely more aggressive than uh, Black Magic when it comes to breaking down the brake dust. Holy smokes, that's quick. So, so already I feel like this it might not smell as good, but I would definitely go back with the, the Eagle one for a wheel cleaner. It's, uh, Especially for the amount of time I waited to clean these wheels, so because 5,000 miles is a lot of time to go without cleaning off your uh, thing. So now I'm gonna power wash back off. And I haven't even done the face of the wheel yet. I mean, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, these these Audi wheels will get brake dust on them quick from the brakes. Something about Audi and uh, Porsche with their brakes. But yeah, this stuff's it's it doesn't foam as much as the other one. But holy smokes! And both times the wheel, these wheel brushes were cleaned out and dried beforehand. So. That way the comparison video is better, because otherwise you're going to cross-contaminate the wheel cleaners. But, as you can already tell, this stuff did a 10 times uh, the cleaning. I mean, I barely have to even scrub the face of these wheels, because there's really no brake dust on them. So, now we're going to dry it off, uh, wash it. So that's done. Um, <laughs> this stuff did an amazing job. It's uh, a little unbelievable. But overall, so the winner of these in this comparison video it has to be the Eagle One wheel and tire cleaner. Because for the ease of effort, yeah, it looked like I spent about the same time on both. But overall, this wheel will need less touching up when I go to dry it than the other one will. So overall, this beat Black Magic uh, Intense Wheel Cleaner. Which is surprising, and plus it did a pretty good job getting the film off on the wheel, on the tire. So, overall, I'll go with the Eagle One and this head to head. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments, comment down below. And thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye.